Artificial intelligence is steadily becoming part of everyday life and all week long we are exploring both the potential and the pitfalls of this rapidly evolving technology. That's right. Artificial intelligence is changing the way that we live and work across all industries from healthcare and education to transportation and entertainment. In fact, parts of this very script we are reading right now was generated by an AI chatbot using a prompt from one of our producers. Pretty freaky. Well, our week long initiative starts with seven action news reporter Sarah Michaels, who will delve into voice cloning and explore the benefits and risk of the game changing technology that can mimic people's voices with remarkable accuracy. There are already apps available where you can use artificial voices, listen to them, or you can make one. Now, some of these voices you're going to find pretty familiar. You can clone your own voice and have an identical replica of it. Oh, I know what it is. It's Obama. Yeah? Is it really? The great thing about playing. Oh, who is that? Kevin Hart. <laughs> Clone your own voice and have an identical replica of it. That was JFK. Oh, that was a weird JFK. <laughs> Sounds like he's in a tunnel somewhere. JFK, Barack Obama, Kevin Hart. What do all of these people have in common? Clones of their voices are available online. It's pretty scary. Would you believe that that was a real person? Absolutely. Yeah. I probably would. And, oh, that is creepy. What? That's creepy. creepy one's good. Where I'm like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Whatever. All of those voices were created using an app called Play.ht. The app also can be used to clone voices. It took a couple hours, but right now you're listening to a clone of my own voice. Does it sound like me? We're at a point in time with, with artificial intelligence where you can recreate somebody's voice after just having three seconds uh, of, their, of their audio. Futurist and founder of Way, a company which educates on the future of technology, Shanae Bovell travels the world educating on artificial intelligence. She says she's not worried about voice cloning. We've been here before at many points in history, right, when the radio was invented. Uh, it disrupted so many things and there was a lot of legitimate fear. As with most all progression, Shanae says there are pros and cons to the artificial intelligence. Pros, it can be used to give people with disabilities their ability to speak back and it can make a lot of people's jobs easier when it comes to careers like podcasting and video creation. Now the cons. Alarm bells have been ringing as to artificial intelligence scams where bad actors have used AI voice cloning to pretend to be someone else, threatening them over the phone or attempting to gain access to bank accounts. Now as AI becomes more advanced and more pervasive, that means things like phone calls uh, and different video segments that we may appear or that we may see, we have to think critically about how those were generated uh, and who is actually behind them. Shanae says there is artificial intelligence in the works to let you know if a voice is real or fake, but it can be a bit of a cat and mouse game. What you can do is call family or friends directly to confirm their identity, come up with a safe word, and be very careful with what phone numbers you pick up for, as well as with who you are sharing your personal information. Similar to when the internet came out. We all need to educate ourselves and prepare to adjust. Kind of scary, but at the same time, I mean, I think it's just the advancement of the world now. We have Siri, we have Alexa. Yeah. What is this any different to you? We really have been here before, uh, and we, of course, will find, find ways to move through it. All of this may seem very futuristic, but the future is here. In Southfield, I'm Sarah Michaels for 7 Action News. Yeah, it's futuristic and advancing technology, but when you hear the experts or the people who actually started it from the very beginning say it's dangerous, I always take a pause and yes. say how dangerous. And I try not to fear the future, but there's, you can see how it could become problematic. Yeah, absolutely, especially in crimes or, you know, stealing someone's identity. So we'll just have to wait yeah. and see. Well, uh, <laughs> if you're worried about AI, tomorrow we'll be looking into how AI is impacting the future of medicine and how it will be used in hospitals in the near future. And you can read more about artificial intelligence right now at WXYZ.com.